Let's do ourselves a Reno Sparks market update. So we are in mid-March as of early March. We have 511 pending sales in the Reno Sparks area with 561 active. That gives us a pending ratio of 47.7%. And the high ratio would obviously indicate that a high percentage of listings are going into contract. As you might expect, the 400 to 500 price range being the low end of the market is highly active and dominating the market. We have a median price for all properties in the median Sparks area of, of Reno Sparks area of uh, $693,000. And we have 2,059 contracts closed in the past six months in the Reno Sparks area with a median sales price of $530,000. As you can imagine, $400,000 to $500,000 is the highest number of sold listings in this market. Let's talk days on market. Days on market, a great indicator of buyer's or seller's market. So, High days on market, buyers on, buyer's market. Low days on market, seller's market. How many days? Buyer's market, probably about six months days on market average or more. Anything less than that and we're more towards balanced and then you get towards, you know, four or three months, you know, you're more in a seller's market there. So average days on market, Reno Sparks area, 61 days. Last six months, median sales price, 530,000 with 77 days on market. Last 30 days, median sales price, 524,000 with 88 days on market. So a slight uptick, but that uptick, let's not mistake that for a lack of demand. We have incredible demand right now in this market. So we have a median list to sales ratio of 97.3%. A median list to sales ratio. Now this is actually a ratio of what the buyer's paying for based on list price. So the buyer's paying 97% of list price. So that's really good for sellers. That means buyers are only getting off 2.7% on average, right? So absorption rate, let's talk absorption rate. I was talking about this several months back and I was thinking it was going towards the buyer's market. Whoa, I was off. So it turns out 1.6 months absorption rate. That's all the inventory in Reno Sparks. It would take 1.6 months it, the, for the current inventory under current conditions for it all to be absorbed and eaten up by all the buyers. That's not much time. 1.6 months, it's all gone. So there's a lot of demand. In conclusion, we're in a seller's market and we're expected to stay in a seller's market through summer with some of our team experts expecting multiple offers into summertime because there's just a lack of inventory and a high demand of buyers. They're out there. And um, what do we have? We have decreased absorption rate, a high pending ratio, we have a high list to sales ratio, and we have days on market under 90 days. These are all indicators of a strong buyer's market. I mean, seller's market. Ah! <laughs> it's a seller's market, and it's a strong seller's market, and expected to stay that way for some time. So when I started this business in 2007, it was a buyer's market. The, everything was collapsing, the sky was falling. Days on market were a year. We would see houses six months was, was the equivalent of two months now. So you would have places sitting for a year and we wouldn't even question it because people thought that prices were just gonna keep going down. But we have demand, demand, demand. We have buyers that wanna buy. So if you're a seller and you wanna sell, list your price. Get rid of that clutter, list it well, market it well, price it well, get a good realtor. And um, if you don't have a realtor, give me a call. I'm happy to take care of you. But there we have it, Reno Sparks Market. It's a seller's market and it's constantly shifting, constantly changing. It's a weird market too. It's You see multiple offers and then you're seeing some, some property sitting a little bit. So you know what? 
Get out there! Sell your house!